and what what do you do during the day do you work uh, or not not right now? Is, look at the following picture then complete the request with uh -huh. this words okay for example uh, the number five please turn down uh, it, it's bad <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to access right now. Okay, so the number 1.4 you said. Number one. Oh, the number one. Hey, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so what was the exercise that you were doing? The number one. Number one. Pick oh, up. Okay. Pick, Pick up, up, please. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Pick up the toys, please. Good evening. Uh -huh. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you, buddy? Good. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey, it's cool. Good, good, good. Just wait, waiting for today's class. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Okay, we have Ricardo here now. Isaiah, Jonathan, and Kelvin, right? Yes. Yeah. And I did. Hi. Hello, I did. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay, everything is ready. Okay, so this is today's class. Here's where we're going to start. Okay. Okay, good. So we're going to continue with the topic of phrasal verbs, but uh, now we're going to add something, something else, right? Which is the models like can, could, would, uh, would you mind, okay, in gerunds, not to, to ask for something using the phrasal verbs at the same time, okay? So, uh, in this uh, lesson okay. objective, we have participants will practice making requests using models, can, could, would, and would you mind, okay? And also you have to remember a little bit about the rules that sometimes when we use with the mind we're going to use the verbs in ing okay so let's see some examples in the following video okay of the activity that we're going to have today yes let me let me share the the computer. So, okay, here we go. Let's see, it's a short video, I guess. It's only
form a verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerb. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind? Plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Okay. Right there, you can see the, the, the models, right? Which are, let's say, in this case, like words we use to ask questions and request for things, right? And, uh, and the English will sound from informal, formal, formal, and sometimes even more formal. Okay, for example, we have, can you? Okay, so a way to say, can you turn the stereo off? Uh, could you close the door, please? Uh, you also have, would you please uh, take garbage out? Uh, and then you have the word, would you mind? Okay, look at the example, would you mind? And see that they are using the phrasal verb in ing form. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Uh, would you mind closing the door, please? And would you mind not? When it is a negative form, then you use, after would you mind, the word not. Okay, would you mind not putting your garbage here? So see the affirmative question and the negative one, okay? Now, listen again to the sentences. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word be at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? Would you mind writing three unusual requests on a discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, do you have any questions about the, the usage of can you, could you, right, and would you? Do you remember? Okay, sorry. Something is happening with, the, I don't know if it is the program or the internet, but it kicked me out. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you see the image? Here. Okay. Now, were you able to see the the yes. the video and everything, right? Okay. Yes. It says that the connection is a little bit unstable, right? So probably I might have some problems here. Okay. Good. So then again, uh, we have just let me go back to the to the platform. Okay, there we are. Okay, this is what we were watching. Okay, I want to emphasize these parts. Okay, this is request for people we know well, right? This one we can say that it's a little bit, uh, let's say, informal, right? But uh, for example, you say, please turn uh, your microphone off, right? Please turn your camera off. Or you can say, for example, uh, uh, Peter, please turn your camera on, right? So because it sounds a little bit more familiar, right? Then, but you remember that it's not a, it's not a, like an order because you are using the word please, okay? It's different if you say, hey guys, you know, turn the stereo okay. off, turn the microphone off, turn the camera off. That is more like an order, okay? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is important, right? If you put please at the end, okay, uh, could you turn on the TV, please? It's just formal. But if you say, could you please, okay, could you please turn on the TV or turn off the TV, well, then you are making emphasis when you use the word please in the middle, right? Could you please, right? Emphasizing. Okay. Teacher, please start the balloon. Okay, so remember we say, would you mind, right? Would you mind writing? Okay, would you mind writing uh, a part? Uh, would you mind giving me a write? Okay, would you mind, uh, let's say, uh, uh, putting, the, putting the, the meeting off? Okay, or postponing something, right? Okay, good. Question. Yes. When we use will, it's not necessarily the please. It's already polite. Okay, good. All right. So okay. Yes. When you say we, please, is, let's say that it's a little more, yes, a little more polite than it's less rude, right? But when you use no. would, would, or uh, for example, or should, uh, let's say the would, then that's more formal. Is, uh, using the last one, will, it's not necessary to include in the please. It, it's, it's always, I mean, it's always, it's, for example, would you turn oh, on? Okay. It's not necessary, but it is recommendable. Okay. It is recommendable. All right. right. Yes. Remember the word please is always, you know, very polite. Okay. Okay, good.
Okay, let's see. Now, Okay, good. Now we're going to practice with these questions, okay? Can everybody listen very well? Now, the video sounds very slow. We can hear you, but we don't, we don't you hear say? that. The videos, video sound is very low. Very low, okay. Do you hear me, that. teacher? Now yes, now yes. Yeah. Okay. Because the the video the video the sound is low. And okay, and now can you hear me well? You yes. yes. How can you yeah. hear me? What what Ronnie is saying is that we can hear you well, but the videos are too uh, too uh, low. Low, low. The video um, let, me, low. let me test it again just for because no. I have just the last one. Yes. Um, yes. Let me try again and we'll see. Just to check. Okay. We add the word P at the end of everything. And now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Better. And we need please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis okay. on the request with word. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with what you mind. Okay. When we use expression would you mind the verb follow must be a gerund this is how it is formed would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement we want you to notice two things the use of please at the very end of the request remember you may or may not and also notice a negative request would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement no. No. Would you mind writing Sorry. short requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Would you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now it's better, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. A, a little better. A little better. <laughs> but, but at least improve something, right? That song is not, not correctly. No what? Clarity. The sound. The sound is not what, Ronnie? It's clarity. Oh, clarity. It's not too clear. It's not too clear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. Good. Well, I'll see if I can do something else in the next. Okay. Perfect. It has a little lag. <laughs> okay. Now uh, we have twenty people. Okay, so we're going to to practice questions. Would you trying to use the uh, two word verbs, right? Uh, from the list that you have, okay, or from any other practice, uh, using questions like "Can you?" "Would you?" Any question? Any questions that come to your mind, but that make sense, right? For example, you can uh, if you say, "Can you?" Uh, "Can you?" For example, uh, "Can you take your shoes off before?" coming into the house, okay, that's one. Okay. okay. For example, can you, now, the same question you can use, could you, could you, could you, how could you take off, or could, yeah. could you please, could you please take off your shoes before you come into the house, or before entering the house? Uh, would you mind, would you mind taking off your shoes before you enter the house okay so then uh these kind of questions are the ones that you're going to practice like can you could you would you or would you mind okay so four, okay. Ca four questions using all the verbs that you can uh, the two word verbs that you can from the list okay try to use the verbs that you don't usually use, right? Or, mm -hmm. or some of the verbs that you have chosen to practice more. Because uh, if you use the same verbs that we have all the time, then it's okay, but you already know them, okay? Mm -hmm. Now try to use other verbs that you don't uh, 
that you don't practice, okay? Very often. Okay, okay so I'm gonna make the groups and then you, let me see we are, yes. So we can make four, six, seven. Okay, here, eight groups, here we go. Okay, there you go, and then you have the practice, and I will be visiting each group. Okay, Jonathan, are you there? Hi, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Okay. I have a problem with my internet connection. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Did you get the, the invitation? Yeah. Okay, okay, go and do it then. I, I'm making the, the sentences. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, I have a one, can you turn the TV off before go to the to the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, did you get the invitation to join uh, with Gio? Uh, Gio, okay. Gio is Gio waiting for you. Uh huh. Okay. No, no, Gio is not in the. Yes, Gio is in the group. And but then... I didn't. I don't see see him. Okay, let me see Laura. Oh, Laura. Laura. Okay, Laura, I'm gonna send her to the, mm -hmm. make it to the group in this moment. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, she's gonna be in group six. Okay. Okay, there you go.
Hello, Yesenia. Hi, how are you? Okay, good. Trying to pick some here. I think that someone has taken the role. Somebody's controlling the, the, the program in this moment, but it's not me. Okay, you can practice if you want just in the questions. And then I will try to fix the problem that we have. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Ah, okay. Yes, I think that uh, Kelvin, I think he has the control of the class because I yeah. don't, because I cannot, I cannot go back to the class. <laughs> yes. Now, now I am a student. <laughs> okay. That's why I sent him out. I sent him an. Kelvin, I think. In the class. Can you, can you, uh, Jonathan, can you see the chat that I am sending? Yeah. Okay. I see the chat. Yeah. Somebody in the group has the control of the class. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then, then uh, probably they will, see, I hope they see it. Um, maybe break out the rooms. <laughs> yes. So we have here. I, this is the Jonathan. I think the chat is only in this group, maybe in this room. Mm. Yeah, some uh, some group chat. Yes, I think so. Yeah, because I won't be able to. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's only. Only for the three of us, right? Three. Yeah. Three. Three person, three. Yeah, English corporativo, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put it in the other chat. Uh, We're all in the WhatsApp group, right? Yeah. Better. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, uh, you can practice, Jonathan, you can practice with, uh, with Yesenia and Jose Armando. Okay, don't worry. Well, I, well, I try to fix okay. the well, I try to fix the problem. Okay. 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 Hello, Yesenia. Hi, Jonathan. I have the three sentences. Uh, let me tell you Wait, uh, three sentences. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What are we what? doing? Um, we practice. Yeah, practice. Uh, I have yeah, my my three sentences. I don't ah. know if you have the three sentences. Uh, the sentences with the, the facial part. Yeah, uh, the can, could, and good. The quiet? The, the last uh, sentences. Can, could, and good. Can you turn? Uh, Okay, I I going I going to to tell to tell you my three sentences. Okay. Uh, my first sentence is: Can you turn the TV off before go to the school? And the second is: Could you please turn the TV off before go to the school? And would you mind turning the TV off before go to the school? Okay. Uh, are three sentences with cool, wool, and and can and can. Yeah. I can I can I can study with uh, a lot of noise. It's good. I didn't listen the last. Words. I can study. I, I didn't listen the. Uh, the sentences is like a question. Ah. And then uh, okay. can is first first word. Okay. In the sentences. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you? Yeah. Would you lend me? Would you lend me five dollars? Uh, you you try to use good and price verbs. Ah, uh, price. Uh huh. Would you listen my my listen my my sentences? Would you mind turning the TV off? Before go to the school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Would you something like that? Something like that. Will you um? Will you come back? Come back uh, at the house for my first. For my first. My first. Okay. Mm, okay. Would you? Would, uh -huh. would you come back to the house for my purse? Would you go back to the house for my bag? Would you come back? Uh huh. Would you come back? Or go back the, to the house? Come back. To the house. To the house. For my purse. For my purse. And 
Teacher, teacher, in this case, is not necessary mine? Or, yeah. No, it, it depends. If you want to be more, uh, let's say, more formal, yes. Would you mind? Oh, ah, okay, okay. Would you mind mine. going back to the, my, to the house? Mine, to pick mine up? is the gerund. After, after mine, you're going to use the gerund. Uh huh. Ah, okay. 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 Everybody's coming back. Okay. Hi. Hello, Veronica. I think. <laughs> Sorry. How are you? I aqui a little busy. I I'm working now. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> so you have just joined the class. Yeah. Now. All right. Good. <laughs> yes, because we are we are yeah. we are trapping them. You are in a group or you are in the in the main station. I don't know. You have. You have I think in a main station. You have just entered. Just entered, yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. Now. Okay, good. good. Excellent. I, yeah, because I. I, I log in now. All oh, right, perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, Jorge is here. Jorge. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing. The other. Where were you, Jorge? Uh, I am fine. Okay. Actually, I'm at home. Uh, okay. Just finished cat and dog, running cats and okay. dog. Okay. And you have you just uh, entered the class? Can I correct? Oh, were, you in a group? were you in a group? Uh, yeah, uh, I stay in a group with uh, Carolina. Oh, okay, good. And then you abandoned the group? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, because I don't know what happened, but somebody had the the person who entered first got the control of the course. And when I made the group, I lost the control. And now I don't know who has it. Okay, that's why I'm going to ask everybody to, to come back. Okay. 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 Yeah, because if you, it's a little bit people. Yes. It's not all the group, right? Yeah, in this, no, yeah, yes, but they're coming back. Okay. 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 Okay, we'll see. We'll wait for them. Okay, so probably we are in the main station then. Okay, good. So we have Liz is here too, right? Then uh, we were the idea was to practice the, the, the questions, right? Would you mind uh, with the phrasal verb? Okay, and and what else? And the the phrasal verb could, would you, uh, could, can, could, would, and would you mind? Right? Using the phrasal verb. Okay. So then, uh, what was the question that you had this idea? No, no, I don't. I don't no, no. The question that the question that you were asking. Uh, ah. Can you? Uh, um, could you uh, come back uh, to the house for my first? Okay. Good. Wait a minute. Uh, Jorge. How did you get out of the group? Uh, I abandoned the is uh, abandoned the uh, small group. Okay, so, sorry, sorry, Yesenia. And Gio, how did you get out of the group? What? Sorry. How, how did you get out of the group? Because there is somebody here that says that there is no option to go out. Uh, I, I have the the the. Leave meeting. Who? Me. Leo. Uh, Gio. Yeah. Uh, you Me, have the Leo. control. Uh, of in my group. Ah, okay. But in my right, room. And right now. In my room. Uh, I. Do you I have, have a, the, 
Do you have a button that says uh, groups? Uh, groups. Uh, a teacher. No. Yes. No. no. For me, for me, yes. Ricardo. Jorge. Jorge. Yes. You, you, you have that one? Yes, uh, that one. Okay, can you click on that uh, on that button? Let me let me check. And it says uh, "Volver a sesión," something like that. I think it is, it's in Spanish. No, for me, no teacher. No. Okay. No, I guess it's the first person who entered the group, but I don't know if it was uh, Kelvin or, or Richard. I think one of those, one of them was a... Uh, was in the, in the session first. Okay. So we'll, we'll uh, they are trapped somewhere in the system. Roberto, how did you get out of the of the of session? The, of the session, uh huh. Okay, I put the the button. It was a uh, a down right in the corner. Uh -huh. Says uh, leave leave the the room. Something in like that. In Spanish. In español. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Un, un yes uh -huh. No, no it is, in Spanish is the, the it says salir or in English. No, no, in English. Abandon in English. Or, or leave. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. okay, good. I think that the other, they are coming back. They are finding the way. Okay, good. Then uh, the only things that I don't have the control yet, right? But but we can but we can continue with the class. Okay, good. So then uh, let's see Jorge. Well Jorge then Liz Liz, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now can you ask a question using can you would you with any phrasal verb? Um would would you come back to your house? Uh huh. Okay, it says, could, uh, would you come back to your house? That's one, one way, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That is something similar that Jesenia had. Uh, for example, that, that she said, can you come back to the house for my purse, right? Mm -hmm. Because something like, you know, like if you go back to the house because you forgot something, okay? Then you can also combine more verbs in one sentence. Can you? come back to the house and bring my my purse can you come back to the house and pick up my purse can you come back uh, go back to the house and let's say and bring and uh, pick up my son or my daughter okay so these are different okay. different ways to do it okay good Roberto do, okay. you, have a, do you have a sentence Okay. Uh, could you ask to Jorge over her his house? Could you ask? Could you ask uh, to Jorge over his house? Over your house, okay. Over, uh, yeah. yeah. In this case, you only say, "Okay, could you ask Jorge over?" Okay. Could ah, you okay. Ask Jorge, not to just. Could you ask Jorge okay. over your house? They say, sure, okay. no problem, okay? It would be a pleasure. Okay. That's my answer, okay, sure, no problem. Okay, Gio, a question. Sure. Um, can you bring Can you bring some beers when you get back, please? Sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> How many? <laughs> 20. Oh, <okay>. 10. <laughs> 24. Green uh, ones. Okay. Uh, Green uh, ones. <laughs> 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 okay, so then if it is 24, it's a case, right? It's a yeah, case. Okay. 24. Okay. Yeah. 24, good. Uh, let's say, Veronica, sentence. Can you, would you, could you? 
Would you help me with my a lot of stuff of 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 assignment? <laughs> uh -huh. would, okay. Would you would you help me? Would you help me with my with my my job? <laughs> or my okay. work? I don't know. <laughs> uh, would you? Okay, well, for example, I ber would, I'm very stressed right now. <laughs> no, no problem. Okay, but you can say, for example, would you help me finish up? Okay, finish, finish up. Uh -huh. My, mm -hmm. let's say, my 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 activities. Okay, or my my, my, my reports. My yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Reports. Reports. Okay, would you mind uh, help me? It's a, would you mind helping me finish up uh, my finish reports? Up my reports. Okay. Yes. Sure. I'm no feeling like a like a boy in a, in the video yesterday. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. yes. Overwhelm. Okay. Overwhelm. Okay. You are. Overwhelmed. You have to overwhelm. Stay overwhelm. Overwhelm. So you have too much work. Okay. Good. Too much work. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, let me Thank see, you. Carolina. And uh, would you accompany me? To dinner tonight would you accompany me to dinner tonight yes that's a good one but remember the two word verb that's a good the sentence is correct by using okay. a, a two word verb okay sure for example where you can say would you come uh say to would you come uh, let me see along would you come along and have dinner with me tonight Okay, or would you like to come along and have dinner with me tonight? Okay, something like that. Okay, okay. good. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Jorge, go ahead. Okay, okay. Can you please tell him, tell her, go on the presentation? Can you? Can you please tell him, her, go on the presentation? Can you tell? Telling, telling her go on the presentation. Okay, uh, that would be like, could you tell her to go to go on? Go on yes? Telling her go on the presentation. Uh, go, go on. To go on with the presentation, okay? Then that would be, could you tell her to go on with the presentation? Okay? With, okay. Yes, with the presentation. Okay, fine. What else? Uh, let me see who else who else wants to participate jonathan yeah me teacher yes I want. Uh, could you turn the radio off please don't bring me down okay would you could you turn the radio off this song bring me down okay this is one good thing could you turn the radio off please uh -huh. That song brings me down. Me, bring me down. Yeah. Brings me, brings me down. Brings me down. Okay, so bring me down is that song depresses me. Okay, or puts me sad. Okay, puts me sad. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent yep. example. Laura? Laura, Laura. No, it's not there, Laura. Yes? Laura is gone. Hi. Okay, yes. No, Laura is there. Okay, Laura. Question. Can, can you tell Jorge con or me can to you make the homework? Okay, good. Could you tell Jorge to count on me to do the homework? Okay. Could you tell Jorge to count on me to do the homework? Thank you, Laura. Okay. Okay. You're a you're a good a good a good friend. Okay. You're gonna help Jorge with the homework. Okay. So Jorge, if you need help, Laura can help you. Okay. Uh, Esme, Esmeralda, I guess. Esmeralda, no. Okay, then 
Evelyn, maybe? No. Who is he? He. Teacher, uh, I have grown in the connection. No, no, uh, hear this moment. You can hear? Uh, uh, cortado, escucho, teacher. Okay, so you don't, you don't hear clear. You don't hear clearly, right? Okay, good. And you, Jose Armando? Oh, Jose Armando left. Antonio? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you ask a question? Um, could you clean up your clothes, please? Could you? Could you clean up your clothes, please? Could you clean up your clothes, please? Right, yes. Could you clean up your room, please? Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, who else is missing now? Roberto, Isaiah? Okay, good. Well, I don't know, I think I will be able to. Okay, now most of the people are coming back. Jorge Alberto Lemos. Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> okay oh. uh, what happened, Jorge? <laughs> are you there? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, could put on your clothes to, to go to work? Could you put on your clothes? Could you, could, <laughs> could you put on your clothes to go to work? Okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> No, in these days, in these days, it's very common to be uh, in the house with t-shirts and informal, right? Informal clothes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a it's a good uh, it's a good sentence. Say, could you put on your clothes to go to work? Okay, like pretending that you're going to go to work. Okay. Good. <laughs> and uh, let me see if we can share. I think I can share the the next objective here. Uh, okay. Yes, can you see it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is uh, remember that yes, tomorrow teacher. tomorrow we're going to check and do the knowledge check. Uh let me see. You have to do the knowledge check. One point one point four. And 1.9 and tomorrow we are going to check your answers here in the class okay 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 and now we're going to move to less uh, objective okay good now Gio can you please read this one yes in this class you will develop skills in guessing meaning from context and reading for a specific information. Okay, very good. So then this is, in this slide, you develop skills, guessing meaning from context, okay? And reading for specific information. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Yes, yes okay. I can see. Okay, now we're gonna start uh, with I I I think can you read Hi. The, the first okay. three parts? Okay. Okay. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays here piano after midnight. The family, the family across the street never cleans. Up their yard, the garbage, garbage blow into your yard. The guys next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. 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 Okay, good. Now we have three parts here. 
the woman in the apartment upstairs plays the piano after midnight. Okay. Uh -huh. Upstairs. Upstairs. The family across the street never cleans after dark. The garbage blows into your yard. Okay, you see blow blow into. Okay. If the guy next door always park his car in front of your driveway. Okay, any any new vocabulary in that in those three middle paragraphs? Blows into. Blows into, okay. Blows into. What happens, what happens, uh, this is, okay, for example, the family across the street never cleans their, up their, their jar, so the jar is always dirty, okay? Dirty. For example, uh, my neighbor across my house has uh, an, uh, an avocado tree, okay? And then when the wind blows, before the rain, the, the leaves of the tree fall on the on the floor on the street. Oh. Okay, oh. and when the wind blows, then they the the leaves blow into my house. Okay. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, when the wind when the rain is blowing, okay, all the garbage the garbage from the my neighbor come to my house. Okay, because of the wind, the wind blows it in. Okay, sometimes when you see the when it's going to rain, before the rain, there is a lot of wind, right? Yeah. And then uh, when you go to the street or when you go to your garden, to your backyard or to the front yard, you see many garbage. Okay, a lot of garbage, many leaves, many plastic bags, and other things because <laughs> the wind brings them to your house, right? Okay, that is the garbage blows into blows the into Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Then uh Jesenia, can you please read have things like this paragraph? Uh, okay. Have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself. How are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? Okay, good. Look at the guy in the picture, right? He's looking through the window to the neighbors. Okay, have you had this experience in your house? Okay. Have things like this ever happened to you? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. If so, the, sometimes say you may ask yourself, who are these people, okay? And why are they doing things, these things to me? Sometimes they don't do it, right? Is the, they don't clean their house, and then that is the problem, right? Okay, good. Now, any other question about vocabulary? No? Okay, let's see. Jorge Mendoza, read the next paragraph, please. Okay, teacher. These days. Okay. These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friend. We all say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors. Names. When? Uh, when you don't know some, someone, it's, it's easy uh, to be loved for be loved from station. Um, present, I don't, I don't see. Okay, we're friendly. Wait, okay, here. Uh -huh. Frustration, right? Um, and, and resentment. Okay, okay. Resentment. You think maybe uh, they like to uh, enemy? Or maybe annoy they me. do annoy me, or maybe they do it liberally. Deliberately. 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 Okay. Now, do you understand this paragraph? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and it's completely true. Okay. Yes, <laughs> okay. No questions about vocabulary? <laughs> Only, only. What does it mean? Annoy. What is the meaning? Annoy me. Annoy me. Okay, good. To make me. Annoy me is bullying. Make me angry. Oh no. Okay. okay. For example, suppose if that. Ah, it's like bullying. For example, suppose if I don't like. Uh, a, suppose I don't like people to speak Spanish in my class. Okay, and then uh, and then uh, Veronica always is a subliminal <laughs> message. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, it's a direct message. No, no. Okay. Oh, okay. no, it's only, it's only an example. It's only an example. Okay. And mm -hmm. then uh, suppose but Veronica, Veronica always speaks Spanish in my class, and she knows that I don't like. Okay, and she knows it, and she can, and she can speak English, but she do she does it on purpose. She does it deliberately, just to make me. Uh, like you. Uh, just to look me. Uh, to, yes. look, uh, to make me angry, to annoy me, right? So this is, you know. Yes. Yeah. That's why. Like my neighbor que always mock in, in near to my house. Uh huh. And that annoys you. And really. I really hate that. Okay. Exactly. Right. So you see, this is, you know, to make somebody feel uncomfortable, right? Okay. Thank you, Veronica, for the example. <laughs> Okay, and okay, and then uh, well, let's see the other one. Uh, resentment. Resentment. Oh, resentment. Okay, these are. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's, it's not a good feeling because resentment is is very bad sometimes. This is when when you feel somebody makes you feel bad. Somebody makes you feel bad, and you never say that. You keep it in your. Keep it. You keep it in your heart, and you never say. It. Okay, and then uh, you are resented because something happened, but you never express that feeling. Okay, and that is and that is very, okay. very, very bad for you and for the people who made the mistake, right? Uh, because if you tell sometimes the people, okay, you know, you resented me because you said that I am a a bad a, a bad friend. Okay, I am a bad friend. And then, yeah, yeah. But, you, but, but I never told you, you never yes. listened to my explanation, okay? If I say, for example, uh, John, you are a bad friend, okay? But John has an opportunity to tell me why I consider him uh, a bad friend, right? But if I never tell him, I only keep the resentment, the resentment. and, and then the, and the problem never solves, never gets a solution, okay? Okay. Okay. It's I wanna... like I. It's like I. Uh, uh, I. I excuse uh, you, but I don't forget that. Exactly. You can. You can forgive me, right? And they said, "Okay, I. I understand. Okay, uh, I understand your your explanation, but you know, I. I still have the feeling, right? I still have the feeling that you did that to me. Okay." Good, that's the resentment. Okay. Now, uh, Veronica, can you please read the next paragraph? Believe it. Okay. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate to you. Often, they don't even know that they are getting on your ne nervous. So before you take extreme messages to fix the problem, Measure. you Measure. should measures to fix the problem you should discuss it with them first okay questions about this vocabulary measures measure you have to take for example right now uh, the government is taking measures uh, to so i mean for example what are the measures that the government is taking to protect the people is the lockdown. The, lo the lockdown is one, okay? Quarantine. Uh, use, use the mask. Okay? The mask. So the those mask. are measures that we are, that we are using to prevent they get infected, right? Good? What else? What else, what else? Only? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this a getting on your neighbors? 
Ah, okay. get, uh, get it on your is neck. Is that expression? Uh -huh. Exactly. It's an, idiomatic, it's an idiomatic expression similar to annoy in one sense that, for, for example, when, when there is a, I don't know, something that makes you feel, okay, you are probably a little, like you in this moment, you might feel probably a little stress. And there is somebody, your neighbor listening to music, loud music. Okay, at the beginning I said, oh, okay, no problem, nice music. But then after one hour, you start feeling, you know, like uncomfortable okay, with your neighbor's music. And then after the one hour and 10 minutes, you start feeling more and more nervous, right? And then we say, you're getting on my nerves. It's like, you know, you are really making me feel stressed. Okay? okay. When you are, you, you know, call it the camp. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. You are. I'm about to call the police or the cam or 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 Najib Bukele. You know, to send you something. Right. <laughs> okay. To uh, to find a solution to this problem. Yes. And that is you're getting. That's what you say. You're getting on my nerves. Please relax. Please stop doing that. Okay. Good. Okay. Mara, Thank you. Next matter, please. You're welcome. When you approach, hey, teacher, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, the thing is, I don't know. We never um, got the message to to finish the the other the other uh, break room. Okay. So who's, we didn't know. Who's speaking? We don't see the. Who's speaking? Because uh, who's speaking? This is oh, Kelvin. Oh, Kelvin. Yes. The thing is, <laughs> I don't know uh, who has. Uh, I think the first person who entered. The, uh -huh. the session today got the control of the group. Then, when I made the groups, uh -huh. then uh, that person went with the session, uh, and then okay. I was I was trapped. <laughs> I was trapped in one group. Uh, and I, I was I, I became a student, and then I couldn't I, could, <laughs> I couldn't yes I couldn't get you back. No, when we, when we were all in the in the class, I had the control. But when I made the group, that person went with one of the group, and then I I couldn't control. That's why I sent you some messages mm. in the WhatsApp. And but, I, I didn't have my phone on handy. I'm okay. sorry. And and we we were talking a lot, <laughs> practicing a lot with Ronnie. Yes. That's, yes. that's why I sent Ronnie a message, and then I, I didn't know what. Yes, to do. I I don't. Okay, but I don't see that phone. Yes, it uh, it's very interesting. I know, I know. Help me. <laughs> okay, but, but exactly. well, I don't know how much we missed. <laughs> well, actually, uh, from, from after that, was no, this after, screen? Yes, we were uh, practicing uh, some questions with the group while they okay. were coming back. Uh, we practiced more questions with the two word birds, and then uh, oh, okay. we started reading this paragraph. Okay. All right. Uh, but I think that this is just for the introduction because if you see the objective is mm -hmm. that, uh, for example, that when we read a paragraph, okay, we have to uh, read by the context. We're just going to have uh, mm -hmm. Xiomara read this paragraph. I will okay. explain something else and then tomorrow All we're right. going to, to do it again. Okay, Xiomara, go okay. ahead. Um, when you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situations and if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, what is one word that you don't know, everybody, from, from that paragraph? What is a word that is new for you? Compliment. A for compliment. me, approach. Uh huh. Okay. Approach. If you see, when you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them. So approach is then a, in the context. Probably you will find the next sentence. You should talk to them. Okay. So what happens when you? What is the meaning of approach? When you take the initiative to talk to someone else. That's uh huh. But uh, what what is the action that you do first? So when you take that initiative, what you do? What do you do? 
-hmm. If your neighbor you lives, lives, if you, you get have, close to them, you, mm -hmm. you get close to them. You get, get close, close to them. Okay, so approach mm -hmm. is to get close mm -hmm. to somebody. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, when you approach your neighbor, then you should talk to them. So then talk this is approaches get close. Mm -hmm. Now look at the next one. Compliment their children. Okay, so uh, talk to them in a friendly manner, right? Suppose if you have a problem with your neighbor in front of your house, okay, you are not going to go to your house and say, hey, look what you're doing to my house. <laughs> Okay. Have to turn your uh, your music down because I can't sleep. If you do it that's that way, the real thing here. <laughs> if you do it that way, your neighbor will say, "Hey, it's my house, it's my music. Uh, I don't care. I don't care, right?" But if you go to if you go to his house, you approach uh, to their house and you say, "Hey, hello, neighbor. How are you? Good. Hey, you have the." Three children, they are very, very formal, very well educated. Congratulations, you have, you have nice children. Then you are compliment, you compliment. Okay, you are complimenting oh, okay. their children. Say good then, things. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. It's like when you say, hey, Johnny, okay. I like your shoes. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. for example, you say, hey, Peter, I like your glasses. Okay, mm -hmm. this compliment is the, the typical piropo in Spanish. Okay. Okay. But in English, it's different, right? In dif it's different because here the piropo is is more for men to women, mm -hmm. and is not very respectful sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the compliment in English is something that you men can tell a compliment to men, and mm -hmm. also to women, no problem, because you can say, uh, I can say, for example, uh, Carlos, I like your glasses. Mm -hmm. I always say, Carlos, say thank you, okay? Or mm -hmm. you can say, for example, Carlos, I like your shirt. Very nice color, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. And you can say, uh, for example, uh, uh, Maritza, I like your I like your earrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Or I like your shoes, no problem. It's, oh, thank you very much. In Spanish, it's different, right? So compliment is to say yeah. something good to a person. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, then uh, uh, let me go back to the question. See, I couldn't get back to the, to the, does anybody have the, somebody has the, the control that says the salir de la decisión para todos or something like that. Mm. Anybody has it? You, uh, I have an. Who? No. I have salir. Who else has something else? Something I have leave meeting. I have leave end. Meeting. I have end. end. And near to the compartir pantalla, does anybody have something that says groups? Oh. Groups. No. Yeah. no, I just have participants, chat, share screen, record, reactions. I have I have break rooms. Break rooms. That, I, I think that's I, one. I think that I have this of the host. <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie. What does it say, Ronnie? Okay. Clap is a star in the room. Teacher <laughs> Ronnie. Okay, teacher Ronnie. You so, can. <laughs> okay. I am a teacher. You're very good. <laughs> All right. So then you must have it, right? Okay. Then, uh, well, we're going to stop here today. And then uh, tomorrow I will probably won't have this, this situation. We're going to see at the beginning of the class who has the control, okay? And okay. the one who has the control, the, the, control the, the one who has the control of the class is going to pay the, the pupusas when the when, oh. the when the lockdown finishes. Okay, oh, it's over yes. for tomorrow. Yes. Okay. The tomorrow. next one. The next one. Yes, the next one. You're you're safe today. Uh, 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 uh -huh. I'm okay. Okay. Then homework <laughs> for tomorrow. Homework for tomorrow. Finish the the knowledge. The, the knowledge. knowledge checks. Right. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to check your answers, and then we're going to finish the, this section two, and we're uh, this, this the section one, and we are going to introduce section two. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay everybody, have a very good night, and okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher Bye. Ronnie. Teacher Ronnie. <laughs> 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 Okay, see you next. Hey, next class. <laughs>
Uh -huh. Anexo, claro. Is the, the English corporativo the count or Zoom? Mm -hmm. You have, you have uh, take the control. Where? Security. Security. You, you can uh, off the participant share the screen, take the control. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, I can do that. Uh, but the, the thing is that when when they send me the link, they they do the settings before. Yes, now I can. Uh, now I, I will check that for tomorrow so that I can have all with the control. Because it's this not is my fault. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no it's not your fault. Okay. It's uh, things that happen, right? And is the, this, okay. is the first, this is the first time that happened. It never happened before. <laughs> Yes. Okay. But thank you very much. Okay. okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.